We've all seen them, the video laryngoscope. It's a device that may improve ET tube placement success, but it's very expensive and you still have the limitations as with traditional laryngoscope blades. When is someone going to develop a laryngoscope for today's airway management? Well, that's the product we're going to talk about today. I'm Chris Sabalero, and this is the Innovation Zone. Over the past 40 years, endotracheal tube innovation has always been considered the gold standard of airway management. You know, the original laryngoscope either were curved or straight open edge blades with the light at the end, and it's not changed over time. More recently, laryngoscopes have evolved to improve the intubation success rates, most notably the video laryngoscope. Unfortunately, the actual blade design has remained the same, only to have a camera as well as a light at the end of it. So some studies have not shown improved success rates with video laryngoscope over traditional laryngoscopes. And these devices are extremely expensive and it's putting it out of the range of most EMS providers. The new Visco from Adroit Surgical is something completely different in the world of intubation devices, even though this method of intubation has been known for decades. The V-Scope is a very affordable alternative to video laryngoscopes that provide a highly illuminated view of the patient's airway, but without a camera. One of the first things I noticed about the V-Scope is that it doesn't have the traditional open style blade, but instead it has a self-enclosed cylindrical clear tube with a flare trumpet design at the end. The clear tube allows light to be transmitted from the ring of the LEDs positioned at the handle end. This illuminates the entire tube and the airway with an impressive clarity while you're looking down the tube. If we think about traditional laryngoscope blades, we put the blade in the mouth and then we sweep the tongue to the left. One of the innovations of the V-Scope is that the enclosed circular tube displaces tissue such as the tongue or debris from trauma out of the way so that the provider has a straight line of sight to view the patient's vocal cords. Having more than one light source at the end of the handle, this avoids obstruction of the light source from blood and secretions so the user has the best chance of intubation success. Once visualization is made of the vocal cords, you then pass a bougie down the tube using the color bands to determine the proper depth. It's that quick, very simple, and without expensive video laryngoscopes. You know, the V-Scope's design makes it ideal for the use in difficult airway patients, especially confined space rescue. Think about it. You're upside down in a car and you need to intubate the patient. You'll need to use the left hand or the tomahawk method to do that. What's great about the V-Scope is that you could use either hand to intubate and you're able to visualize the vocal cords with ease. Best of all, the V-Scope is perfect for intubation during CPR with no interruption. I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed reviewing this product. And if we think about the V-Scope, this is the tool that we need in our toolbox of future airway management. This is what's gonna help us to ensure our intubation success rates. And remember, it's illuminated. We have this great LED lighting and it lets us visualize the vocal cords. It's easy to use and we could use it either left-handed or right-handed, but more importantly, it's inexpensive. I'm Chris Sabalero and thank you for joining us on the Innovation Zone.